Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have a PS3 power supply board that's not working. This was given to me by one of my customers and they said that it could have a short, so I'll be looking at this. The very first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to be testing the main fuse. And when I'm using the multimeter, I'm getting an open. So that means that the fuse is blown and that could mean that there is possibly a short on this board somewhere. So I'll have to take off the board so that I can have a look at the, uh, the printed circuit board. There's a, a screw that holds on the, the circuit board. So I'm just removing the screw. Uh, there'll be a couple. And then to actually lift it off, there's this little bracket that also has two screws that you can remove. And then you'll lift it straight up the circuit board and we'll be able to look at the bottom because all the solder joints are at the bottom and then we can actually use our multimeter to, to be testing the MOSFETs and the other components to see if there's anything wrong. On first inspection, the board looks pretty good. There are some dark spots. Dark spots are uh, high current places where it has more heat and then the circuit board just kind of changes color. It could also be a short there too. So I'm gonna be using the multimeter and seeing if there's a short anywhere. So using the multimeter, I, I'm just testing there's uh, any kind of dark components. I will be testing to see if they are okay. So I'm just testing this one right here and uh, I'm not getting any short there. So it seems to be fine. And there's a other resistor here. I'm just gonna be making sure that it's not a shorted, shorted out or anything. Um, that was fine. So the major things that I find that do short since that we do have a blown fuse is MOSFETs. And those are the ones that are connected to the heat sinks. So they're usually in a row and they usually have three uh, legs. You have the gate drain and source. So just using your multimeter to see if there's any short between any of those pins because they, there shouldn't be any uh, shorted components. So, and they should be consistent. You can see I'm getting the same forward voltage on all three of those uh, components. Therefore, they're, per, they're, they're most definitely fine. So that's the first uh, three MOSFETs that I tested, but there are a lot more. You can see them, they're all connected to the heat sink. So I'll be testing out this row as well, same procedure. Just test the same legs and see if you're getting roughly the same kind of forward voltage. And you can see I'm getting 0 0.6, which they're all the same, you know, most definitely that's fine. If you're getting a short, then you would have to remove that component and read the um, the numbers on it. And then you could uh, order the parts on DigiKey or you could get them on eBay. And then you'd have to desolder that. But those are all good. So I'll be testing the other MOSFETs too. There are, though, because they're the most common component because this is a power switching power supply board it'll supply 5 volts and 12 volts to your playstation and so basically mosfets are used for switching the voltage uh, to regulate that uh, voltage there because you you go from ac to dc and then those are for the voltage regulation so at the top just testing out there's also diodes there'll be um shot key diodes that uh our low forward voltage that are used as well. And that's so that um, you don't have any reverse current. So this forward diode, I'm getting 0 0.4. And then if you flip it around on the diode, it should be open, which is good. So that's the forward diode, which is good. And then right beside that, diode there are two i believe either npn channeled mosfets or or pmp mosfets and just testing each of those legs we should be getting similar uh, values so i'm getting 0 0.3 and the other guy as well you can actually test it a little bit easier from the top some in some cases because the middle one is connected to the drain. And so it's actually that connects to that screw. So going from the screw to the 
left leg, I'm getting 0 0.3, which is fine. And then just doing the same thing on the other one, and I get the same voltage. So therefore, those those ones are most definitely fine. You just want to make sure that um, you're not getting a short between the gate and the drain, because that would indicate a bad MOSFET. But we're getting all okay values here. So I think that this is fine. After fixing that fuse, we can just pop it in and see if we're getting the voltage. Uh, and then if, then we can have a look. So I do have this little handy device I made. It's called a digital fuse because basically I can set the current to what current I want. And it'll act like a fuse. It has a relay. I, I made this using Arduino. It's very useful because otherwise you would replace the fuse. But if there's still a short it would blow again and it's just a save on that replacing the fuses as you test and so i've uh, activated it as dc current and uh two amps and so if it ever goes over that if there's still a short it will stop the the fuse so my digital fuse should be fine i connect the voltage power supply to the power supply and then I'm just going to see if I'm getting an output voltage and you can see I'm getting 5 volt standby voltage so that means that we don't have a short that fuse is not blowing so there isn't any short on this right now after replacing the fuse and so there are two things that this could be it could be that there's a short on your main PlayStation board and that's why this is has blown or there could have been just a peak in it of current that blew that fuse so after this you can put this into your playstation and see if it blows that fuse again if it does it means your main board is the problem not the power supply okay so this is a good power supply as i have uh, diagnosed it if you're interested in electronic repairs and um, tutorials and all that things about fixing TVs, PlayStations or phones, you think of uh, subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.